Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Police Quest 1 BGA. Here in the locker room, going to change into our undercover disguise as Whitey. So first we need to dye our hair in the shower. You get the towel and put it on. You were raised to be modest. You hang up your hustler suit. You're glad to be rid of it. Well, you'll be getting it back pretty soon, so you know, I don't get too excited now. So first we dye our hair blonde. Oh look, Morris Fudley is here in the shower. What a surprise! Alright, blonde Sunny. And the little walk icon is blonde too. Very cute. You change into the disguise. Oh god, it's a leisure suit! You also find a wallet containing the undercover money you'll need. You place a towel back in the locker, hope it doesn't do will do, yeah. Alright. And from here I'll just uh, jump up to Morgan's office. See you in a bit. And here we are. Gonna have to do some teleporting for this video. Hello, Lieutenant Morgan. What do you think? Am I convincing? Very. Your own mother would have to look twice. How do you feel? Pretty good, sir. I'm ready. You have to be ready, Sonny, and wide awake. You know you'll have to go in without a weapon or a wire. If those men were to catch on you were a cop, they'd kill you in a heartbeat. Understand? Yes, sir, I do. Lieutenant Morgan? Yes, Sergeant. What can I do for you? I am afraid I have some terrible news. Officer Jack Cobb's daughter, Kathy, died in the hospital about an hour ago. Apparently, she never woke up. My God. Thank you, Sergeant Dooley. I appreciate your letting me know. You've spoken to Jack, yes? Yes, sir. Well, I guess we're done with you then, Dooley. Sonny, I think the importance of this operation is obvious to you. These men are killing innocent kids. They have to be stopped. Remember to keep a level head, though. Rage will only get you killed. These people, if you can call them that, are not to be trifled with. Be sure to check in with me after you've made contact with them. Yes, sir. I'm going to get them. You can be sure of that. Good. Head on over to the hotel, Sonny. Don't let this distract you. All right, I will head over to the hotel. See you in a bit. And we're here. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? All right, this is a good place to save. We're about to go into a dangerous area. It's a fancy hotel. Just walk up to them, they're automatic. All right then. Yeah, it looks like the walk icon's hair is brown again. Oh well. So first we need to get a room. Excuse me. Yes? I'd like a room. Yes? The clerk pretends to check in the registration book. It's pretty obvious he's checking you over. You look familiar. The name's Jimmy Lee Bankston, but my friends call me Whitey. Whitey! Sweetie, er, Miss Marie told me about you. The clerk winks lasciviously. We've got a room for you, pal. You can have it at a special rate. Just for Marie's friends, $75 an hour. A night, whatever. <laughs> Thanks, my man. You fork over the bucks, and the clerk gives you the key to room 202. So far, so good. Alright, now... The bar's up here. So we want to go visit Marie and the bartender. Oh, hi Marie. Hello, sir. 
I'd like a rum and coke, bartender. You got it, pal. Thanks. Whitey! Hey, Whitey! Come on over here, you sexy thing! Don't be shy! You know I can't resist you! Marie is laying it on a little thick. You take a deep breath, muster up your best gangster attitude, and smile at her dashingly. Oh, Whitey, you look terrific, honey! I haven't seen you in ages, just ages! Oh, what did I ever do without you, baby? Why, if it isn't the lovely Sweet Cheeks Marie! You look fantastic your own self, baby! I missed you something fierce! Why do you're just as handsome as I remember you? Why, thank you, sweetheart. Here's your change, sir. Thanks. So, Marie, what's going on? Have you seen anything unusual? As a matter of fact, I have, son, uh, Whitey. I've seen the same three guys going into the storage room and not coming out for hours. But get this, I snuck a peek in and they weren't there. They have to be going somewhere else, you know, through the storage room. They must be holding the game back there somewhere. That's terrific, Marie. Thanks a lot. But you really shouldn't be spying on them like that. These are dangerous guys. I want to do my best for you, Whitey. Marie's smiling that smile that turns your insides to yogurt again. You feel yourself starting to blush. I'll be with you in a moment. Yeah, come on, keep these drinks coming. Hello, sir. I'd like a rum and coke, bartender. You got it, pal. Thanks. A hundred dollar bill? Well, you must be doing okay for yourself, mister. Hold on, I have to go get change for that. Yeah, tipping hundreds. Here's your change, sir. You take your change and give Alex a $20 tip. Oh, thank you. Whitey, is it? Oh, I've been so rude. Alex, this is Jimmy Lee Bankston, known as Whitey to his good friends. I've known this cutie pie for going on eight years now, but it's been, what, a whole year since the last time we got together? How I missed you, honey. Anyway, Whitey, this is my girlfriend, Alex. Nice to meet you, Whitey. Charmed, Miss Alex. Well, why don't you two just chat for a minute while I excuse myself? I have to visit the... I have to take a piss. Well, Whitey, Marie sure is taken with you. She's usually a pretty good judge of character. Yes, prostitutes tend to be that way, don't they? Marie's very special to me. We go way back. So what do you do for a living, Whitey? Well, nothing right now. I'm currently uh, in re relaxation mode. You see, I just got released from the slammer. Did a stretch for embezzlement. Really? That's interesting. Oh man, I can't believe I told you that. You mix these drinks strong, girl. Could you keep that little bit of information under your hat? I don't want people getting a bad impression of me. Don't worry, Whitey. Your dark secret is safe with me. It's not a big deal, really. Thanks, Alex. You're okay. All refreshed, my dear? Are you ready for adventure? As long as it's with you, baby. That's just what I wanted to hear. How about coming to Vegas with me this weekend for some gambling, drinking, and dancing till dawn? Oh, Whitey, do you mean it? Oh, yes, I'd love to come with you. Oh, thank you. Well, you two kids have fun. I have to get back to the bar. Okay, Alex. So, sweet cheeks, baby, how about a tour of my room? I thought I thought you'd never ask. Let's go, lover. Hey, Whitey, come on over here for a second. What can I do for you, dear lady? I was just wondering what a gentleman like you does in his leisure time. Got any hobbies, Mr. Bankston? Oh no, I'm a veritable monk. That is, aside from the women gambling and endless pursuit of money, ha 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 ha. Is that right? Well, if you were to come back later tonight, al alone except for a couple of C-notes, 
I might be able to get you into a little private party. You do play cards, don't you? Oh, I know how to play old maid and go fish. Seriously, Alex, that sounds great. I'll be back down once my lady and I have finished uh, tripping the light fantastic, as it were. Yeah, real good uh, euphemism there, Sonny. Okay, see ya, hot shot. Wow, you're doing better than you had hoped. This charming CAD stuff comes naturally to you. Must have been all those Jimmy Cagney movies you used to watch. Let's go, baby. Don't keep me waiting. Oh, look at that. Time for the next video. Later. <laughs>